Yes, people, welcome to Crime Daily. A prolific drug dealer has been on must as a former footballer who ran heroin and crack cocaine operation while also trying to work as a league manager. John Lawless, 39, was a promising midfielder who played in the UEFA Champions League for the Welsh club The New Saints before becoming a manager in the lower leagues. Lawless had a double life in Hull as one of the city's most prolific drug dealers, a county lines import from Liverpool who flooded the city with heroin and crack cocaine. He was jailed for seven years as part of the Scouse J Gang who became Humberside Police's top target. He ran his operation from the historic former offices of one of the city's prestigious legal firms. The dad of six was a promising footballer and was managing the football team Prestat in town in North Wales when he was arrested for county lines dealing in Hull. The Liverpool FC fan bragged he had grown up against former Manchester United player Wayne Rooney. Lawless played for the lower leagues including Marine FC in Crosby near Liverpool, the New Saints FC known as TNS Bursco and Vauxhall Motors. In 2005, he played for Welsh champions TNS against Liverpool in the first round of the Champions League. He came on as a sub in front of 45,000 fans at Anfield where his team lost 3-0. He played until October 2020 when he was appointed manager of Welsh club press starting town, then JD Kamaru North champions. Lawless was sacked just days after his arrest in January. Humberside Police and Merseyside Police collaborated to catch Lawless through an undercover operation. Ringleader Daniel Condiff, 26, sourced and supplied the drugs from Liverpool while Lawless acted as an area manager with 11 dealers working under him in Hull. Lawless distributed heroin and crack cocaine to his network of dealers. Condiff made and received an average of 320 calls and messages on his burner phone a day and there were 650 messages sent to Lawless about moving drugs from Liverpool to Hull. Humberside Police said the exchanges valued the drugs at 1 million. The pair were arrested in joint raids on January 4th. During the dual raids, police also found bundles of cash, wraps of heroin and cocaine and a Japanese-style fighting knife. DS Matthew Grantham, who led Humberside Police's investigation, said, We believe that by stopping this gang's activity, we have prevented significant amounts of heroin and crack cocaine from being sold on the streets of Hull and the associated crime and antisocial behaviour that goes with this kind of offending. We know the impact this has on our communities and that's why we will do everything we can to find those who are responsible and bring them to justice. Hopefully the sentences handed down to these two men and those working beneath them will serve as a warning to others looking to come to our towns and cities to deal drugs. That's all for another one guys, but please yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe yeah. Peace.